Now we want to get started with learning how to use flash animation and where we start is with a flash motion tween and in flash CS4 we have a new way of doing motion tween so that's the one we'll start with and then we'll look at later on the way we do motion tweens in the older versions of flash flash CS3 on back they now call those classic tweens. We'll learn about symbols and a library how to test your tween before you publish. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is we'll create a brand new Flash document. And then we'll save it. And you can give it whatever name you like. And one other thing I'd like to do to get started on this is to uh, select the stage and drag it down closer to my timeline and we'll be able to watch the timeline which where our animation will be shown and our actual objects that we're animating on the stage. Now we'll draw a vector square and that's the object we'll animate. So first we'll select the rectangle tool and I'll set my properties as you see them. The fill color will be red stroke color will be black stroke height will be 12 and I want object drawing off so I come down here to object drawing and make sure the button is up and then on the left side of the stage with my shift key down and draw a square now we were going to create our motion tween and to get started on that I'll get the selection tool use the letter V on the keyboard and we have it and then I want to select the entire rectangle and you can see the fill and stroke it's part of a rectangle and I'll right click on top of it and at the top of my menu we have create motion tween flash uses a dialog box to warn us that we are trying to tween or do a motion tween on an item that it cannot do a motion tween on unless it's converted to a symbol and we're okay with that so we'll choose okay. A number of changes occurred as a result of adding that motion tween so let's look at them first on the timeline you'll notice that we no longer have a single frame we now have several frames and this is a span the first frame is a key frame which the dot indicates the fill dot indicates that there's an object on that frame and then the remaining frames just mean that the first frame needs to be repeated for the next 30 frames. Our movie is set to 30 frames per second. We can see that at the bottom of the timeline. And so that means this span is one second long. Also, uh, with the if we click on the uh, motion tween, we can come up here and see it has properties. And the properties will change is the ease property. We'll look at that a little later. And let's go back and click on the object that's on the stage. And one of the things you notice is it's no longer got the vector fill and stroke separately. It's now a complete object. And if we go back up to the properties area, we can see that it's now something else. It's now a instance of symbol one. It's a movie clip. And a movie clip is a flash asset. And they're stored in the flash library. If we take a look at the flash library, the library can contain flash assets which are called symbols. It also can contain your bitmap images that you import and sound and other types of assets. But basically a flash asset is a timeline and the vector drawing that we created is on that in that symbol we can go edit it. It's a little bit similar to an object drawing but much more powerful. We'll go back to the uh, properties. Now let's start our animation and what we do is we come down to the timeline and select our motion tween span and we want to click on the last keyframe which is frame 30 and then we'll come up to our object that's being animated and just drag it to the right of the stage. If you hold the shift key down it will drag it in a nice straight line and now you will see a line running from the left to the right and that's called the spline and it's showing you the motion direction of our tween and all the frames in between so the little dots are the indication of each of the frames and we can see our animation by choosing play and there's, and that's on your main menu if you go to control play 
and you control play you can see the shortcut key and the shortcut key on a Windows machine is enter and it's also the same menu choice and same key to stop so we can see the animation another way to look at your animation is to use the step forward and step backwards keys those are the comma and period and another way you can see your animation is down in the timeline you, the frame numbers are basically a scrub bar and the red rectangle handle gives you the ability to drag left and right and you can see the animation this way now let's change one of the properties for our motion tween so we have it selected down here on the timeline and up here is our property window and we can see we have various properties we can change that are applicable to the actual motion tween and one of them is the easing property and it numbers run from minus 100 to 100 I'm going to drag in here this new uh, number changing control that's added in with CS4 and bring it up to 100 you can also type into there and type the number in and when I did that it says uh, ease 100 out coming back to the stage what you're going to notice is that the spline uh, keyframe indicators have separated uh, uh, differently or their intervals are different along the line so you can see that to the left or the beginning of the animation there's larger intervals between each frame and towards the end of the animation there are smaller intervals between each frame so I'm going to test that I'll just do a play again that's control play or your shortcut key for that and what you'll see is the animation slow up at the end and if you can kind of follow the playback head down on the timeline you'll notice it seems like it slows down so basically we're just moving a longer distance for each one thirtieth of a second or we have thirty frames per second so each one of these is one thirtieth and so we have greater distances at the beginning and shorter distances for the same time and one more thing we'll add to this little beginning intro is, is we'll see how we can actually change the direction of our animation uh, we can pick at any particular keyframe there's one at the end and one at the beginning and the one at the end the diamond indicates a property frame so there's no objects on it. it's just indicating changes in properties and we'll see more about that as we go but each ending point we could change for example we wanted our animation to go uphill just drag it up a little bit and in between we can uh, with a selection tool we can uh, bend our spline and so now we have a curved animation Okay, that gives you a good idea of how to use flash tweening and, and specifically this is the CS4 motion tween capability so you only see this way of doing it in flash CS4 and we'll continue along to learn a few more things so stick with us.